So number two from the 2004 exam starts with a huge paragraph chock full of numbers that can be a little bit overwhelming. But basically, um, you know, you have 3,000 houses, um, you have a coal burning power plant, um, and the capacity is 12 megawatts, that's how much um, electricity it can put out. Um, the average household uses 8,000 kilowatt hours. Now, kilowatt hours is nothing but kilowatts times hours. So later on that's going to be an important point because we're going to have to find something in kilowatt hours and it gives you kilowatts and then you're like, well, how do I do that? Well, you just multiply those two things together and you get kilowatt hours. Seems a little crazy and it's kind of simple, but just go with it. All right, um, let's see. The price that you're going to pay for the energy is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So there's your last little fraction. You can see that. Um, and then they want to have this wind project going down. They're going to have 10 wind turbines, and each one's going to have a 1.2 megawatt capacity. And um, each one also costs $3 million to purchase. So each one's $3 million. You got 10 of them, all right? And that's for, you know, buying them, financing them, and operating them for 25 years. So on A, assuming that the existing power plant can operate at full capacity for 8,000 hours per year, how many kilowatt hours of electricity can be produced by the plant? So um, I do need to go ahead and look at what full capacity was. If you look back up here, it was 12 megawatts. And that doesn't really have anything with it. It doesn't have another unit paired with it. So that doesn't have a buddy. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to solve for kilowatt hours. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's get our 12. So 12 megawatts over 1. And obviously right here in A, it said that it can operate 8,000 hours per year, and it wants kilowatt hours. Well, I have megawatts, okay, so I can't do anything with kilowatts until I convert to megawatt, uh, and convert from megawatts, excuse me. So, um, 12 megawatts, and then, you guys, I know I've told you a million times that a thousand, that's a thousand, thousands is one million. So 1,000 kilowatts is 1 megawatt. So megawatts cancels. And then on the next one, um, it gave me in the problem that 8,000 hours is how much I can operate in a year. So remember I told you at the beginning that kilowatt hours are nothing but hours times kilowatts. So if I take that hours, that 8,000 hours, and I put it right here, S8,000, fix my 8. And I put my hours, and then, kilo, oh, excuse me, there we go, years down here, I'm going to be left with kilowatt hours per year, and that's what they wanted. So, um, anyway, uh, everything, as far as the units that I have here, need to stay, and now I'm just going to multiply. So, 12 is 1.2 times 10 to the first, and then 1,000 is obviously 1 times 10 to the third. I'm going to add my exponents, get 4. And then 1.2 times 1 is just 1.2. And then my 8,000 up here, I'm going to multiply. So 8 times 10 to the 3rd, add my exponents and get 10 to the 7th. And um, 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1, and that's going to give me 9. And then I have 1 decimal. So 9.6 times 10 to the 7th, and that's kilowatt hours per year. Piece of cake, right? All right, so that's all for eight. On B, it says at the current rate of electrical energy use per household, which was up here, um, normal house uses 8,000 kilowatt hours each year. So each is per, so that's a division bar there if I needed it to be. Um, anyway, at the current rate of electrical uh, energy use per household, how many kilowatt hours of electrical energy does the community consume in a year? Well, I have 3,000 houses in this community. Does this have a buddy? No. Each one uses that. So this is really straightforward. I got 3,000 houses. Each one's using this much electricity. I'm just going to multiply. So 3,000 is 
3 times 10 to the 3rd, and that's Holmes. And then I'm using 8,000 kilowatt hours per home. Homes cancel, and I'm left with kilowatt hours, and that's what I wanted. So I'm just going to come down here and multiply 3 times 10 to the 3rd, and 8 times 10 to the 3rd, and this is kilowatt hours. Um, so, you know, 3 plus 3 is 6, 10 to the 6, and then 3 times 8 is 24, so I have 24 times 10 to the 6 kilowatt hours, so that's going to be 2.4 times 10 to the 7th. Remember, if this number in front of the exponent is bigger than 9, you're going to have to add to the exponent to make it okay. If it was less than one, then I need to um, I need to subtract from the exponent when I rewrite it. So anyway, that's kilowatt hours, and I'm done with B. Piece of cake, right? Well, C is just something that you're going to find on the answer key. You know, why would you expect it to be the same? Blah blah blah. And then D is another math problem. So D says. Assuming the electrical needs of the community do not change during this 25-year lifetime of the wind turbines, what would the cost um, be to the community uh, for the wind power? And so um, I'm looking for dollars per kilowatt hour. See up here I have 10 cents per kilowatt hour, but that was for the coal-fired power plant. So they want like a, a similar number for the wind. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, First of all, I have to figure out how much electricity that this town is going to need for the 25 years because I can't figure out how much electricity is going to cost for 25 years if I don't know how much electricity I need in the first place. So I know this is my yearly cost, right? This is how much energy I'm using in a year in this community, but then I have 25 years. So, um piece of cake, right? Um, and this was, like I said, it was per year. Because this is how many houses I had, and this is how much energy I was using in a year, as stated in the problem. So, per year, here we go. Now, the 25 years, it doesn't have a buddy, so I'm going to start there. Um, so, I have 25 years, which is 2.5 times 10 to the first, and that's years. And I'm just going to put that over 1. And then um, I have this much kilowatt hours needed a year. So 2.4 times 10 to the 7th kilowatt hours over a year. So years cancels. And I'm left with um, kilowatt hours. So let me go ahead and multiply. 2.5. Times 10 to the 1st, and then 2.4 times 10 to the 7th, and this is going to be kilowatt hours. So, um, 7 times, excuse me, 7 plus 1 is 8. So it's 10 to the 8th, and then I need to do my math problem. So let me go over here and multiply. 2.5 times 2.4, 4 times 5 is 20. And then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Then I have one little 0 here. Um, 2 times 5 is going to be 10. And then I'm going to carry my 1. And then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So that's going to give me 600. And I have 1, 2 decimals. So that's just 6. So I'm going to have 6 times... 10 to the 8th kilowatt hours per year needed for this whole community. So all the houses in this community need this much electricity. Now, um, I have to figure out how much all those wind turbines are going to cost. Okay? Now here's the deal. Um, all the wind turbines, let's say they cost like all the wind turbines together, um, you know, let's say they cost 20 bucks, all 30 of them. I know that sounds crazy. Just go with me. And then um, the energy needed, you know, in kilowatt hours 
was, um, you know, I need, um, I don't know, 40 kilowatt hours for the whole community for the 25 years. So if I $20 divided by 40 uh, kilowatt hours, I'm going to find out that it's 50 cents per kilowatt hour for the energy. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. I got to figure out the cost of the turbines and then I'm going to divide. So um, I have to figure out the cost of the turbines. In the problem, it told me that I needed 10 turbines. So 10 is 1 times 10 to the first. That's turbines. Over 1. And then each of them costs $3 million. And 3 times 10 to the 6 is 3 million. And that's for one turbine. So pretty easy little math problem here. Basically, 1 plus 6 is 7. And then 3 times 1 is 3. So this is going to be um, $30 million, basically. And that makes sense, you know, 3 million times 10 is 30 million. But that's 30 million in, um, in scientific notation. So this is the cost. And if you look back at the problem, like I was saying a minute ago, they want to know basically the answer for the amount, uh, cost of electricity in dollars per kilowatt hour. Well, here's my dollars. And then, just a second ago, I found out the number of kilowatt hours. It was 6 times 8, excuse me, 6 times 10 to the 8 kilowatt hours I needed. So now all I got to do is take my dollars. I just found dollars per kilowatt hour. So that's 6 times 10 to the 8. And I'm just going to divide. So when I divide, I subtract 7 minus 8 is negative 1. And then... 3 divided by 6. In your head, you should think, oh, that's just 0.5, but just in case you're having trouble with that, 6 will go into 35 times. All right? So it's 0.5 times 10 to the negative first, and this was kilowatt hours right here. And so this is dollars per kilowatt hour. And if I simplify that into, an, you know, a normal looking uh, dollar amount, I'm going to move the decimal one time, which is going to be 0 0.05, which is 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And that is it.